and I'm back for some more of the Bermuda Bowl Challenge. And for those that aren't too sure what the Bermuda Bowl is, that is the World Championship open event for Bridge. Um, so it's run every two years. And what we're doing is we're playing uh, the boards that came from 2011. So nine years ago, going back a little bit, um, but you get the chance to play the exact same cards that the world champions and the runners up got to play. See how they battled it out. And you get to compare, see what they did, what they didn't do, uh, what they did differently. And I wanna see if I can out the, uh, top them, do one better. So let's jump in. I'll show you how to get uh, into it. So. When in BBO, what you want to do is click casual and new BBO is upgraded. So it gives you a loading screen and then you can click start table with three robots. And um, if you haven't hired them, it'll cost a little bit to do that, but not expensive. So we'll give that a shot. Then if you want to actually play the boards, what you want to do is come up to these three blue lines and then click deal source. So you click that and then select a specific view graph match. And now we just type in Bermuda Bowl and we can get the matches from that. So uh, for this, what we wanted to do, we're playing uh, 2011 and three of eight doesn't exist. So we're just gonna go right ahead, skip to stanza four of eight. Then what you wanna do is click okay and this will load the boards in and then you can start playing it. So here, what we're gonna be doing is be playing boards 17 through to 24 and in this stanza. So give it a head, go ahead and play those and you can actually compare with them. See what I did as well. But uh, just as we do, let's jump over to the other version of BBO. Okay, so here we are. And what we wanna do is check out uh, how I've been doing. So my current starting score is 45.5 imps. So I've got a healthy lead. Don't want to waste it. You can get some big swings. Anyway, uh, let's jump in and see what we can do on this. So to kick things off, we've got five high card points and a five, two, two, four. I like to respond whenever I've got an ace. I think this hand's definitely worth responding. So we'll start off with one spade here. Got a bit two clubs. Um, we've found a club fit, but partner's also minimum here. So partner's like the opponents might even have game in hearts here. So I want to make it hard for them to find it. I'm tempted to bid three clubs invite, but my partner will almost certainly um, bid game, which won't work. So I really wish I could bid three clubs, just sort of like to jam the opponents out. Um, but if partner bids three no trumps, that will be pretty bad. So I guess I have to pass and then compete to three clubs. But I really don't like doing this because I'm going to expect it will go double and then I'll bid two hearts, I'll bid three clubs, I'll bid three hearts and so forth. They'll get to four hearts. So I wish I could just raise clubs here sort of kind of preemptively. Not that I can. So we'll pass. Woo! Put it there. Right. So my partner's going to play this one because the robots, uh, when they declare, they just sort of uh, kick things off. I am really shocked that the opponents did not get in on this hand. Okay, so my partner made two clubs plus one for six imps. Um, you can see that it's already popped up there. Um, so that will just let them finish off this play. And we get the queen of clubs. So here's the whole hand. Uh, other tables. Um, one club, sorry, one club plus one spade and uh, Joe Grew doubled here and they got to two hearts that way and double the same way. So here, um, even though they didn't have four diamonds, they still thought it was worthwhile to come in with such a good hand. I like the double here. I'm really shocked that West just passed and passed when um, we got to two clubs. So what really happens is I like to, like if the opponent's trying to fit at the two level, letting them play there is a pretty bad idea because the points are usually evenly split if they're not investigating game and you want to try and uh, push them up or buy the contract there. So that's why I like getting to two hearts here. Acting straight away meant that North didn't like North South didn't find they had a good club fit um, or competing to three clubs. But notice that uh, the one spade bid was universal amongst these. But uh, definitely an interesting double by the uh, West. I like it a lot though. Um, but uh, the robots didn't, weren't as keen. Anyway, healthy six imps to kick things off. 
Anyway, uh, moving on to board 18, and we've got 10, 12 points, and a 2, 1, 4, 6. I start with one club, and that's going to be it from me. So three clubs here was a mixed raise, 7 to 9 total points. One heart, three clubs, pass four hearts. Okay, get the seven of diamonds lead. So my partner doesn't like diamonds. They didn't lead a club. Right, so I think I've got two ways of potentially beating this contract. So first of all, I had 13 high card points and dummy had 10, 6, 8, 21 total high card points there. So 19 missing and uh, West has most of them. Now it says 17 high card points here. I, they don't actually necessarily need them. Okay, so for me to beat this contract, um, we either need to get two club tricks and the ace of spades or two spade tricks and a spade rough straight away. Um, now, if this was match points, just getting 10 tricks would be okay, but I really want my partner to have the king of spades or the ace of clubs. And the king of spades is what, uh, like the least cards that I need from partner after this seven of diamonds lead. So I'm going to switch to the ace of spades here, see if I get encouragement from my partner. And the seven of spades looks reasonably encouraging, so we'll give that a shot. Nope. My partner played the five, seven then the five. I thought they played high in courage. Um, okay, my partner doesn't have the ace of clubs. That's good news as well. Looks like my partner pretty much had nothing here. They had the king of diamonds. I really didn't think that my partner had the king of diamonds, but also importantly, the King of Diamonds wasn't going to help us beat the contract here. Right. Um, except for getting the club away. Okay, so we lost eight and a half. The King of Diamonds meant that we could... Um, they couldn't get into their diamonds quick enough. Uh, so firstly, the robots don't like leading away from kings very often so I really discounted the possibility that West my partner had the king of diamonds even though the seven of diamonds was the lowest outstanding card the robots do like leading low from three low and other things like that um, seven of diamonds when I see the eight now there's just the nine missing I should have stopped and tried to piece together okay my partner doesn't have a doubleton so maybe they got queen third so maybe I could have pieced that together a little bit better Anyway, uh, four hearts here, down one. Um, here, jack of clubs. I think that's a standout lead. Nice, easy to beat the contract there. Um, the others just got to uh, three hearts. So they made the mixed raise as well. And this hand just bid three diamonds asking and sign off there. So uh, my missed defense there, um, not a fan of my partner's lead, but I definitely could have worked out that when I saw the eight of diamonds, my partner either had a singleton diamond or had uh like queen third or king third and if i've got king third or even if they have an honor in diamonds then switching to the spades wrong so i definitely should have got that one right um on the assumption that my partner has led away from an honor but i'm so used to the robots just loving passive leads that i really didn't think that they would lead from that and to me this is a pretty auto club lead but still my fault and dropped eight and a half amps that that was painful Anyway, um, board 19. So here we've got 13 high card points, so we can start with one diamond. And I'm just minimum balanced, so we'll stop there. Surprised my partner couldn't bid at all, but uh, jack of diamonds. Uh, obviously from shortage, because the 10's in the dummy. So it looks like we can go ace, king of diamonds, diamond rough, hopefully club to my hand, and make uh, them trump their winning diamond. Diamond, diamond. So West has five spades and four diamonds. My partner's got two spades, two diamonds. And we'll get in with the ace of clubs. And they'll just trump the uh, diamond winner now. Um, it's not going to get us a trick, but it prevents them just discarding something on that. 
So West is 5-4. No, 4-4. Four, four. They made a four-card overcall. So my partner showed up with a third spade there. That was really important to, to note there. So West is four spades. So four spades, four diamonds, probably short heart. I think I've got two hearts and three clubs. Club. Nope, I got the extra club. Get a heart and held it to two. Lose another six, ouch. Okay, so we get to three clubs and one club, double. So here, one club, double, two clubs. Uh, here, one club, double, pass, one spade. So both of them opened one club. This might be like a system, systemic agreement that they open one clubs with like 12 to 14. Um, again, I think it also comes back to just not letting them try and play in at the two level when they've got to fit. Um, here, I didn't want to bid initially because um, they might just be bidding to four spades and then just decide to double us. Um, but when they've bid and raised and found a fit, then usually you want to try and compete. It's difficult. Maybe my partner can make a takeout double. The vulnerability is right for trying to balance and try and push them up there. Um, so we won six imps on the first board for the robots not doing it. Lost six imps here for not getting to our three club fit as well. Um, and board 18 was my bad. Anyway, um, yeah, so dropped a bit there. So we've lost eight and a half so far. Um, this standard, but uh, that's all right. You're gonna get some swings, some good stuff. Two diamonds, two spades, penalty double. Okay. So this diamond holding is pretty interesting. Uh, I'm tempted by bidding three hearts here. Wow, that's 12 plus total points is the description. Can't even run away from... Like, all of this is forward going even after I get penalty doubled, which just seems bizarre to me that I can't just try and run away from two spades doubled. I personally would like to bid three hearts or two no trumps to get out of two spades doubled, uh, but I don't, I, I can't in this method without my partner just bidding four hearts or something. This seems a particularly strange agreement that we would still be having forcing bids after we're getting penalty doubled. Um, so I guess I pass. But I don't like it. Yeah, so we're in like this pretty silly 5-1 fit here. My partner's going to play it. We're going to lose four or five spades, a club, two diamonds. We're going to go for like five or 800. Oh, the hearts are breaking well. My partner got out for 200. That is exceptional there. Wow, but we still lost 12 imps. Um, okay, so what did other people do in that one? Two diamonds down four. So pass, they didn't have a week two in diamonds available. One spade, pass one no trump, two diamonds and north pass because of the short hearts all pass identical auction in both getting in and preempting the first time works a treat so being like the week two in diamonds certainly paid dividends here we got ourselves into trouble i was always going to be struggling now like we're not like we might go positive in hearts so in two heart three hearts we've got one spade one club two diamonds maybe no, I think we're going down in uh, three hearts anyway. Um, maybe two no trumps might make, um, but they they can just play spades. Robots can only beat at one. Wow, it looked terrible when the hand came down. Um, but yeah, uh, this is so, sort of highlights the effect of having early preemptive bids. And it, this is one where the week two in diamonds actually came up. I'm sure that uh, they had uh, other preemptive options, just two diamonds wasn't a week two for them. So, or might not have been a week two for them. Um, 
but bidding it later costs. Like it's pretty normal two diamond bid, but notice that if you bid two diamonds to start with, it puts it on the other foot. Anyway, uh, we are down 20 so far, but we're still up 25.5, but this is nasty set of boards so far. Um, 11 high card points. We're playing two over one, um, good five card suit. I'm going to just bid two no trumps, 11, 12. Not uh, two clubs, which would be game forcing. Three diamonds. My partner's got diamonds and <sighs> spades. Uh, so I'm kind of worried about hearts. The, the opponents have a heart fit. Uh, I've like, my partner's trying to say that they're worried about something now. They might just be worried about clubs. A uh, 4-3 spade fit might play okay. Um, five diamonds might play okay. Three no might play okay. I feel like bidding four spades is maybe the best bet. Like I'm trumping hearts in the shorthand and we're going to uh, play diamonds later. Wow. So I have no idea why my partner bypassed hearts here to show the spade suit. Like I, I thought they wouldn't have had good. Um, I really would, would have thought they wouldn't have had good hearts for that sort of bidding. Um, so I, I would have bid three hearts with their hand if they were going to bid. Um, four spades still might be okay, but this cross roughing is getting a little bit dangerous. No, we made it on the nose. So four spades making 10 tricks. Um, so that was all good. Um, and we win eight imps back. I'll take it. All right, so mixture of options. Three clubs doubled down three, six diamonds down two. So. Here, one diamond past two clubs, three clubs. Now this might look really ridiculous, but a uh, two club bid uh, was probably alertable, not actually just clubs. So not exactly sure how they play a diamond past two clubs. Um, doubt you would volunteer three clubs in a suit that they've already shown necessarily. And here, a diamond past two hearts which showed a diamond fit and 10 to 15 points or something near enough. Three clubs, four clubs, four spades past five clubs, five diamonds. All right, so how good is six diamonds? So it looks like you've got a spade loser where you can take a spade finesse, which loses this time, but that's okay. Um, you have uh, three heart losers. So you could, if the spade finesse worked, you could potentially discard the heart loser, but dealing with those hearts seems quite a lot. So six diamonds, not a great contract here, but we got plus eight for finding a making game. If we got two three no trumps, we'd have five diamonds, ace, king, ace, ace. So three no trumps would be okay as well. Five diamonds looks like it's a bit tricky. You can make, <laughs> you can make seven diamonds on this end. Okay, so you have to draw like one round of trumps, drop the doubleton queen of spades, discard your heart, and then probably trump out the king queen third heart or something like that, which seems absolutely ridiculous but it is there to be made um but if you get to five diamonds i wouldn't be surprised if that went down but i'm glad to got get eight imps for dodging a difficult hand there anyway uh onto board 22 so we've got five high card points and an eight card diamond suit so here uh, looks like I want to preempt four diamonds or five diamonds. The vulnerability is right for bidding five diamonds. When you preempt five diamonds, the opponents just double you and uh, lit. That, that's it. Um, here, there's also pass first time. So I'm in the second seat. That makes it less good for preempting five diamonds. Um, I think there's like a four and a half diamond bid. I could be swayed either way. 
But I'm just going to go ahead and bid five diamonds. Because if it goes four diamonds and they bid four mage, I'll feel like I wanted to bid five diamonds. Just bid it the first time. I don't feel super comfortable about it. But uh, here we are. We've got two heart losers, a spade loser, a couple of diamond losers. If I preempted four diamonds, it would have gone four diamonds past four spades. That has spade two obvious hearts like you might make four spades need a bit of luck but i feel like four spades would usually go down but you got more chances there okay so i've got uh, the ace king ace uh and we'll just go ace of diamonds And a diamond. Okay, they're going to get one more here. So go in with the ace of clubs. Have your diamond, and that'll be it. Okay, down three. And I won three and a half imps. Okay. So uh, Bathurst was in for four diamonds. Uh, Brink went in for three diamonds. So. Uh, quite a bit of variation there. Obviously, I'm on the more aggressive uh, side of the preempting here. Um, but three diamonds allowed the opponents in. Three diamonds, pass three spades, pass, pass double, pass four hearts. And four hearts is actually cold. So four diamonds worked well enough for keeping the opponents out of... Um, out of uh, four hearts like they didn't they got hit an awkward hand didn't actually get there uh five diamonds in theory is a good sacrifice against it um but four diamonds looked like it was the winning choice so there are three three different options here three diamonds five diamonds and four diamonds three diamonds looks like it was too low on this hand allowed west in um, although they did actually just pass initially, but if it went three diamonds pass pass, East would make a takeout double here for sure as a passed hand. Um, so looks like four diamonds is the way to go on this one. Okay, moving on to board number 23. And here we've got a five five in the minors, 12 counts. So start with one diamond, one heart double. I'm just gonna show my clubs now. And my partner invited here, 10 to 12, and I have only 12 points. Uh, the club suit's not breaking, the diamond suit's not breaking. This looks like a pass, but at imps, I really dislike being in two no trumps. Um, the opponents have a spade fit, most likely. Um, if they lead a low spade and my king scores straight up, this source of tricks could be good. I think. I think I should pass, but I do think this like I'm not a huge fan of two no trumps as a contract. Okay. I do have a pretty poor hand though, so decided to go low. <laughs> and my spade gets captured. Uh so two no does not look like it's even gonna make. We're gonna get five diamond tricks. A spade is six. Um and the opponents will get three spades, two aces like might make oh two no on the nose reward for two no trumps and i get six big imps wow so here's the whole layout uh the other table uh north just jumped to three no trumps with this 12 count uh same option two no trumps all pass um, but two no trumps did go down here and can be beaten. Um, but here uh, they only beat three no trumps one. Um, but uh, on, on the right side of it, managed to make two no trumps and get six imps back. So clawing back the deficit from this set. Um, so we are up 42 and a half still at this stage, but losing three overall on this set. One board to go. Pass, pass, pass to me, and I have 12 high card points and a singleton spade. All right, so this one I'm really curious to see, like, actually, 
I highly doubt they have the same option of three passes. Um, I, I just want to point that out there, but uh, I was going to say, I would be really interested to see if they open this hand. Um, and the, the thoughts are, this does not meet the rule of 15 where you count your high card points plus your amount of spades. But here with the good shape and a genuine opening bid, I'm going to get in here and open a heart and then just show my clubs and get to play two hearts. Okay, so um, here, um, partner's got five, seven opposite my 12, 19 high card points. So the points are 11 and 10 between uh, east, west. So I think that's useful to know. So let's try counting the points. This is because there's two passes and I've got 21 points. The only way I can divide that up. So king of clubs, queen of clubs, King of spades, so ace king of spades with east. Ace king of spades, ace of clubs. Okay, so both hearts are offside. So they're gonna rough in and I'm still gonna lose to two hearts unless the spade is not with east. Okay, so ace jack of hearts are both offside because I've seen ace king ace. Um, so no point crossing over to finesse. We're just going to try and drop that uh, on a doubleton. No, and West still has another heart there. Okay, so it looks like I should have passed it in. Six tricks. It was a pretty terrible layout for me though. And they found um, a good defense. Okay, so no, no one passed it in. Um, so pass, pass, one spade by Muller here. Uh, third seat, 11 points, good four card suit. Um, and pass, pass, one diamond by Justin here. And East West got to one no trump here. Uh, East West got to two spades. Two spades went down, one no trump was cold. Um, so interesting spot. Um, no that uh, Bathurst still bid two hearts so getting to two hearts was all right uh, here one diamond one heart over call meant that they didn't find uh, their two heart, heart bid anyway uh, lost two imps net negative five for that one um, so it brings my total to just 40.5 so uh, we'll just adjust that current score but interesting set of boards there um, so just to recap again, board 18, I messed this one up. Um, my partner led the seven of diamonds and used to the way the robots lead, I really didn't think they had the king. Um, but I didn't stop to look at the pips and realize that the eight was played. And my partner either had to be leading from king third, queen third, or a singleton diamond. I really should have taken that moment and then that would have actually swayed my defense. Um, the robot, I think, has a better lead than a diamond, but uh, yeah. Here, two clubs, the robots didn't compete over this. I really uh, think that West should want to try and bid here, but we were on the right side of that one, but the wrong side of this part score swing, unfortunately. So six imps in, six imps out, that flattened. Board 20, uh, this one, the robots, uh, week two in diamonds that was available and preempting early, um, rather than passing and then overcalling worked a treat on this one and we lost 12 imps um, Then we got uh, eight imps for staying out of slam and not getting doubled in three clubs But choosing the right game and then interesting. How high do you preempt bid? I went the highest route looks like four diamonds was good enough um, To get the job done on that one and finally two no trumps paid dividends here with six imps and then finally, do you pass this board in or not? And turns out uh, passing it in would have worked reasonably well, but uh, as I expected, this auction wasn't duplicated at either table. East opened this hand. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, that was uh, so this week in the Bermuda Bowl Challenge. So we're, we're still up 40 and a half imps, so still doing well, but losing a little bit of that lead, which is uh, costly. 
all 18 uh, irritating me a bit after I, I spotted that. But uh, anyway, thanks all for watching. Big shout out to all my patron supporters. Uh, if you like this sort of content, like what I do, please check out my Patreon because it allows me to make this sort of content. Um, so big thank you to everyone that's supporting me. And thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.